everyone. So it's uh, it's been a while. I haven't uploaded for a while. Um, and I do apologise for that. Um, but I thought today, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and I'm finally going to do it. But in case you didn't know, um, loads of con countries, or quite a few countries at the moment, are in lockdown. The UK, which is where I'm, I currently live, is in lockdown and has been since the 24th of March. It is currently the 27th of March when I'm filming this um, and I would just like to thank all the NHS workers that are working working and risking their lives to help the people who need it and uh, a big clap for you. I unfortunately didn't participate in the clap for the NHS because I didn't know it was going on um, but I hope that you are all well. Um, I hope that you're all keeping safe and staying inside as much as possible because that's the best way we are going to tackle this virus and actually get it to stop. But anyway, in case you're wondering what this video is going to be about, you've probably seen uh, by the title, but I'm going to show you my vinyl collection. Now a bit of information, I started collecting vinyls at around Christmas of 2018 I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, Christmas 2018 because I got my record player so it was only a £20 one as you would have seen from my what I got for Christmas 2018 video um, but and you also would have seen that I've gotten most of my vinyls I've either gotten for my birthday or for Christmas um, or if you have purchased from myself um, I do mostly go to HMV uh, which is a big like music chain music selling shop in the UK um, although I will in the future try and get some more from independent record stores because I I like the idea of supporting like uh, smaller companies. Anyway, let's get on. I'm going to go in order of uh, of artists. Also, if it looks like I keep on looking behind the camera, I've just got a mirror up just so I can see if my vinyls are in frame. And yeah, I keep all my vinyls in this uh carry this case here, which I got for Christmas. Um, 20, in 2018 and I put all my vinyls in here and I just store it underneath my desk in my room. So in like my vinyl record box I've got or like case I've got them in order of artist not alphabetically just in order of artist and I've got the albums in order of like when they've came out so like at the front is like the earliest album and then the one at the back is like the latest album. My first vinyl in my collection which I'll be showing you is a Phoebe Can't Sweat Out which is by Panic at the Disco. This was released in 2005 and it is a has a total of 13 songs. It's got eight on the on side A and and six on the other side. This vinyl is a black vinyl. It's just the standard black vinyl. Um, yeah. Also, I'm giving like a little bit of information on all of the vinyls when I show you them. And I got this for Christmas. I got a, a few V cards out for Christmas 2019. My next album that I have is Pretty Odd, which is also by Penica at the Disco. This was released in 2007, if I believe. If I got that wrong, I'll leave a cor uh, correction. Um, but this has a total of 15 songs and has eight on the on side A and seven. If I've done the maths right on side um, B and I got this album when I first moved to where I currently live I got it the first week I was here because I had some money and this cost me um, f just under 15 pound uh, I can't quite remember how much fever I can't sweat out is I think it was about just under 20 pounds but I will probably leave like links to all the albums in the description below so if you want to check them out please do because I think they're all pretty good albums. So from my Panic at the Disco collection, I am missing uh, Vices and Virtues. I am currently on the hunt to try and find one uh, at a even independent record store or online and give for my birthday or as or soonish I will probably get one. The next album I have is uh, Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, which is also um, by Panic at the Disco. This was released in 2013. It has five songs on side a, a and then has um five songs on side b it has like 10 songs in total this is probably one of my favorite uh panic at the disco albums uh just because a lot of the songs on here like mean a lot to me uh, especially this is gospel because this was like it was like the first proper panic song i listened to that i can remember listening to and it also means a lot to me so yeah i also i got this for christmas in 2018 if I remember correctly. Then I've got Death of a Bachelor by Panic at the Disco. This was released in 2016 
and has six songs on side A and has five songs on side B. Um, I got this for Christmas 2019 and I've been waiting for this for a while. This was like the first album that was released when I joined the Panic at the Disco fandom. I joined like at late 2015 I think and then this was the album that was released uh, that I was first part of the fandom for. Final Panic at the Disco album I have is uh, Pray for the Wicked and this is their most recent album. This was released in 2018 and I remember this was the thing, the, the waiting for the release of this was the only thing that got me through my year 10 mocks. Um, but as I said this was released in 2018. It has uh, four songs on side A and then has Oh wait, no, it has five songs on side, uh, side A and then has six songs on side B. This is another one, of, this is another favourite album of mine from Panic at the Disco. Uh, probably my, I think it's my third favourite one, I think, of, um, of after the breakup. So, yeah. So a lot of people don't like this album, apparently, but I think it's actually a pretty alright album, but that's just my personal opinion. And if you don't think it's a good album, then you are entitled to your own opinion. I just personally think it's a pretty good album. Now, we are on to 21 Pilots. Um, also, by the way, all of the uh, Panic uh, at the Disco albums are all like plain black vinyls. I think I forgot to say that. Um, yeah. So here we have Vessel. Um, which is by 21 Pilots. This was released uh, in 2013 and this vinyl is actually clear. I got this, I bought this for myself after my birthday. Um, oh yeah, also with Pray for the Wicked I got it Christmas 2018. Uh, but I remember I got this and I was like so happy because I'd been wanting this album for ages because it's possibly like, it's like a lot of the songs again mean a lot to me. It's got one of my, my favourite um, uh, 21 Pilot song on it which is Trees and the fact that I managed to get the clear vinyl was like I was so happy um, but yeah this was released in 2013 I got I bought this a couple of days after or I bought this on my birthday I bought it as a birthday present to myself on my birthday but yeah really good album I recommend So then we have Blurry Face, which is also by 21 Pilots. This album was released in 2015, if I remember correctly. And I got this a couple of weeks ago, as like a couple of w weeks ago, um, as a present to myself, similarly to um, Vessel. Um, I'd been wanting this album for a while, but it was like over 30 quid, so it was a bit like, I love I love 21 Pilots, but like I, that's a lot of money. And I know vinyls tend to be expensive, because obviously they're like so amazing but yeah I've actually yet to play this on my record player um, but I will probably be playing this soon while I'm in lockdown but yeah pretty good album uh, is standard black vinyl and it's got I think it's 14 songs on total and it's got I think seven on side B and seven on side C I think I think that's how it works. I can't doesn't doesn't give much hints on the back, whereas the others do. Also for um this uh the it has twelve songs, so six songs are on side uh, what, uh A and six songs are on side B. Then we have Trench, which is my final Twenty One Pilots album. This was released in twenty eighteen as well. I got this as a Christmas present in twenty eighteen, um, and this final is actually it's like this khaki green colour. Um, I was going to buy the yellow vinyl. Um, I thought it would honestly be yellow when I asked for it but I didn't realise it wouldn't be but that's fine because it's still a pretty cool vinyl and honestly I think this is probably my favourite 21 Pilots album and I think that's because it was the first one I like properly like listened to. Well I say properly listened to. It was like the first album that came out while I was in the fandom that I can actually remember. Similar because technically um, I think Blurry Face was released soon after I joined the fandom, but I can't be quite so sure about that. But yeah, love this album. Brilliant album. Go check it out. I also have Fully Ado, which is by Fall Out Boy. Um, this is a heavyweight vinyl, so it's like, it's it's a black vinyl and it's like extra heavy or extra sturdy. I don't quite know how heavyweight means. If you know what that means, comment it down below. Um, but this is my favourite. Uh, this was released in 2008. I want to say. 
um, before uh, Fall Out Boy went on hiatus. Sorry about that, my fa uh, camera stopped filming for a second, however, so where were we? Oh yes, I was showing you um, the back. Uh, so the second, it has two discs, side A of disc one has three songs and side B of that of disc one has um, three songs as well. Um, then on the second disc, side A has three songs and on side B it has four. But yeah, there we go. Good old album. Uh, yeah, I intend to uh, increase my Fall Out Boy record collection more um, as I go ahead in the year. So I'm hopefully going to buy some for my birthday or get some for my birthday, hopefully. Um, or buy some for myself when I next get uh, paid. So, the next album is American Beauty, American Psycho. This is also by uh, 21, uh, not 21 Pilots. Fall Out Boy. This vinyl is like a, um, is like this, is like this nice sort of pastel blue colour. And I got this on Boxing Day uh, of 2018. And it's the, f I think it's the first vinyl I ever bought myself. So this one has a special place in my heart. It has... Uh, five songs on side A and six songs on side B. Then we have uh, May Death Never Stop You, uh, Greatest Hits, which is My Chemical Romance's uh, Greatest Hits album. I got this for um, Christmas uh, last year and it is just a plain uh, uh, black vinyl. Um, it has, oh god, I mean it has two discs on side A of disc one. It has a uh, five songs and then side B it also has five songs and then that is the same and then side A of disc two has f five songs and then side B has four songs and it's basically just all their greatest hits plus some demos and apparently there's a DVD in it but I have not explored this yet so I will get back to you on that and then my final album that I have is Billie Eilish's um, Don't Smile At Me album uh, this is her EP and I got this for my birthday uh, last year. Um, on side A it has four songs and then on side B it also has four songs. Um, this vinyl is actually a red vinyl. Um, and yeah, it's this is a bit battered because um, I got this while I was still living where I used to, be, uh, used to live and I had to transfer it so yeah, that was fun. Um, as you can see it's got a bit of the den which is a bit sad because I love my vinyls to pieces and I don't want them, any of them being broken. Um, I, although, as far as I'm aware, they all play pretty good. Some have issues, but um, I think it's mainly if I haven't cleaned them in a while, or if like some of them, like for example, my Two Way To Live, Two Way To Die album, I think that was pressed weird, um, but apparently a lot of people experience that. Um, apparently, anyway. I don't know how true that is. So, that is my vinyl collection 2020. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I know this is probably going to be a short-ish video. Um, not too long, but not too short either. Um, I hope you enjoyed finding out what vinyls I have, and I will link all of them down below. Um, and yeah, I'm probably, I might do an updated CD collection soon, um, so if you want to see that, leave a like and comment down below and I will see you all in my next video which hopefully won't be a few months like three months or four months after this one anyway I hope you're all doing well stay safe stay inside as much as you can and I will see you all later bye